Hi. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to add a widget or what's called a gadget in Blogger to your blog. And this is going to be a more advanced feature where you're going to use an embed code to customize your blog with different widgets that aren't available in the Blogger uh, database of uh, gadgets that they have for your blog. Now if you remember last time uh, we start of course by logging into Blogger and we went in here and we looked at adding these gadgets and if you go to layout on your blog and there's these different sections that say add gadget and you can add a gadget into any of these spots and it depends on the layout you have chosen for your blog uh, what it's going to look like. And we're going to add one here uh, really quick just as an example and remember it brings this up. What we want to go down to is the one here that says HTML slash JavaScript. If we click this, this will enable us to use any embed code that we can find on other sites. So for instance, this is widget box and we can do a search um, on this site for various different widgets uh, that we can add to our site and you're probably familiar with the uh, Google uh, widgets and the gadgets that they have available that you can put on your website as well and there's all different features and uh, types of things that we can add in so let's choose uh, one of these things and see if we can get a nice widget for it. Let's go to the you know Apple shooter game here and we can add this and this shows you what it looks like and we notice it has a title here Apple shooter game and we have different options for the border that we can change. If we go down to the bottom corner for this site It'll list, it'll have this um, feature here where you can make it look differently. I like to make these so that you can't see the advertisements. So I don't want to see the ads. I'd rather just see the game itself. Or the feature that we want our viewers or our blog to see. <clears throat> when we're done, we have something the way we look. I like the way it looks. Um, we can take this and we can get the code. And here we just want to highlight this. You can do control C. You just want to copy it. And you want to go back to that page we had before. And you're going to put that code in here. And you can title it. Save it. And it's there and we can go to our blog and we can refresh it and we see that it shows up. Now we notice here it doesn't look right so we might want to change our layout or we can change the, the pixel size of this. Right. There's other options. So we, it's easy enough to go in here. It doesn't look right. We can just remove it. We can go back here refresh this again it disappears it's gone but we can go back here now and we can change this we can make it smaller so maybe it'll actually fit on our page or I might choose to put it in a different spot so it's more visible Go back. I don't think it fits there, so I'll add the gadget down here, at the bottom of the page. HTML, JavaScript. Paste the code in there. You can give it a title. Let's go here and refresh our page and see what it looks like. My page now it's going to show up here 
on the bottom. Using this site, we can also look for other widgets by doing a search if there's anything in particular that you want. Um, we can look for some news sites and with these all you need to get to make these things work is to get that code that embed code that you can then put it in on that widget or gadget edition here's the code here for this one we can take this copy it and we can add this in somewhere too maybe we want to add this here it's not going to look great but easy enough paste it in save it we can refresh our blog and now we also have this on our page now we want to make sure that we don't make this make we don't want this to make our site look awful we want our blog to look good this one I like because it lines up nice with the other uh, gadgets I have on here All right sometimes there's a lot of ads in a gadget and there's a lot of other useless superfluous stuff it's more annoying than it is useful on your blog so try to keep it simple try to keep it nice but have it also be entertaining and have it become more of your personal space with your blog